Welcome to Taos. I'm Jefferson Graham and you're watching Photo Walks. We are, of course, in Taos in northern New Mexico, which is my favorite part of the state. This is a real old city that's known for art, a classic Pueblo, these wonderful adobe buildings, some great old churches, and my favorite part is the big wide open skies, which are so photo perfect. So we'll be walking and driving today. We're gonna to walk around the plaza. I'm gonna show you some of the great old buildings and then we're gonna get in the car and take a drive and meet up with a local photographer, Kevin Anderson, who's gonna show us some of his favorite photo spots in the Taos area. Some quick housekeeping. If you haven't subscribed to the Photo Watch channel yet, please do and click the bell for notifications about new episodes. Again, I'm Jefferson Graham. I'm a lifelong photographer, writer, and video maker. The whole goal of the Photo Walks channel is to take you to some pretty great places like Taos and show you how to get great photos while you're on vacation. Today's episode is being shot primarily on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm also using the GoPro Hero 10 for my driving shots, and I got some stills on my beloved Sony as well. But the whole goal is to shoot like a pro with the camera that's in your pocket. You ready to get going? Let's go photo walking. The center of Taos, like so many other New Mexico cities, is the town plaza, although this probably will not be one of your top local photo spots. It is a place to get a bite to eat and see some art, and that extends through the side streets of the small town of just 6,000 people. In town, you'll notice that everything is classic adobe style, even the bank and the local McDonald's. Taos sits in northern New Mexico, about a 90-minute drive from Santa Fe, and it's about an hour from the Colorado border. There's a ski resort some 30 minutes from the plaza that brings many visitors to Taos, but photographically, you can't beat the historic buildings and the landscape. Outside of Taos, about three miles from the plaza, is the thousand-year-old-plus historic Pueblo, which was closed during COVID but is certain to be reopening at some point. Photos are allowed there for non-commercial purposes. I snapped this one several years ago. By North American standards, it's pretty incredible that uh, they've lived in the exact same place for like a thousand years. Nobody's ever moved them. And uh, then they built these two five-story adobe apartment buildings that are six to eight hundred years old. There's also the classic San Francisco de Assis Church, beloved by the photographer Ansel Adams and artist Georgia O'Keeffe. They also like the back of the church as much as the front. You'll see many vintage buildings like this and tons of art in Santa Fe, the capital city of New Mexico, but let me assure you, Things are very different in Taos. Taos has what I think is more charm. Uh, it, it just has better scenic beauty. Access to the outdoors is much easier. Of course, it's the wide open spaces that I love the most in Taos. My friend, the photographer Kevin Anderson, who you're gonna meet in a few moments, will show us some of his favorite out of the way photo spots. I happen to come across my two favorites on my own by just barreling down the road. So when I think New Mexico, I think about those big giant clouds that flow across the landscape and nothing screams New Mexico clouds like a great time-lapse video. Really easy to make as long as you mount your smartphone in a tripod and let it sit there for like 30 minutes to 60 minutes. The longer, the better. Remember, you can't hold it steady. Now, the other question is where to find the best clouds. I had one location recommended to me and it was good. But on the other side of the street, way more clouds. I had to get it and I just kept driving and driving and driving until I could find an open field with no power lines. We'll see what you think of the shot. I think the results are gonna be pretty great. My other favorite is a few miles down from the Rio Gorge Bridge en route to Ojo Caliente, the historic natural hot springs that is a must stop for any New Mexico visitor. And first of all, the water feels great. But secondly, the local area is ripe for photos. I mean, where else would you want to pose with your guitar than right here? Back to that road from Taos, head towards the Gorge Bridge, which we will see in a minute, and turn on Route 64 West, pull off on the dirt road, and have fun. The Big Balloon Festival draws thousands of people to Albuquerque in the south every year. Taos has a balloon festival as well, way smaller, but worth checking out with your camera. If you visit in October, it is an added bonus. 
Now, they have Mexican import shops all over the state selling all types of pottery, sundials, chilies, cow skulls, and, well, you name it. But the ones in Taos just seemed a little wilder than I've seen elsewhere. Food-wise, Taos, like so many other places in New Mexico, has just incredible New Mexican fare pretty much anywhere you look. Remember, red or green is the question they will ask you. We particularly like the historic Taos Inn and a little place on the outskirts of town called Orlando's. We stayed at a little place about a mile from town called Inn on the Rio that has really comfy rooms and a great owner who was nice enough to offer sound bites for this episode. Thanks, Bob. Before we go any further, it's quick photo tip time. You're loving the Taos landscape and you're saying to yourself, hey, how do I make my skies look as great as Jeff's? Well, first of all, know that if you have a choice between a big blue sky or one with clouds, the latter is your best friend. The more clouds, the better especially if they're dark and about to break, because that's when things start to get really interesting, because as you know, clouds add drama to your stills, and as we saw, movement to your time-lapse videos. For people photography, you can't beat having clouds in the shot. It just makes everything look so much better. Besides the fact that they look cool, they also provide nice, soft, even lighting for our faces, and we look great under them without those dark shadows that come from the midday sun. Now, what about apps, you say? Thanks for asking. A basic photo with clouds in the shot can look pretty good, but a little editing in a free photo app, and I don't care which one it is, Vesto, Lightroom, the camera, the photo app on the iPhone, you name it, it can go a long way towards greatly improving the shot. With an app, you just darken the skies just a little more and boost up some of the color and contrast with the sliders. Just three sliders, one, two, three, and an amazing photo. Remember that for a big dramatic sky, you want to use the widest lens you have on your camera smartphone to see as much of the sky as possible. What could be cooler than that, right? Okay, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Alrighty, so as I promised before, a meeting with local photographer Kevin Anderson. Tell everybody where we are right now, because when we met, you said this was one of your favorites at the Overland Sheepskin, Sheepskin Company. Company. Right. Not only do we get Taos Mountain in the background, but uh, when you go around back, they've kind of set it up for artists. Taos has a thing for old trucks. In Taos, uh, old trucks like this are often uh, used as yard art. So uh, there, uh, in fact, is a uh, painting school here that teaches a class in painting old trucks. Okay, how are you with that? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Something as simple as something like this? Perfect. Do you want me to be moody? Do you want me to look off into the sky? Uh, let's do one of looking off, and then we'll do one of maybe moody. Why don't we have, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you get to pose a few times too, if you don't mind. Not at all. <laughs> and maybe fold your arms, and put one foot up on the, uh, is it the bumper? All right. Yeah, that's what they call it, yeah. Well, that was fun. All right. <laughs> we ditched the truck and jumped into Kevin's van for photo spot number two, a historic little bridge. Well, gee, Kevin, that was a bumpy ride. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, here we are, huh? From what I hear, New Mexico has more dirt roads than any state in the nation. So, I didn't uh, know that. It pays to meet a local to find out these things. <laughs> We're at the John Dunn Bridge. Uh, this is uh, one of the older bridges that cross the Rio Grande here in Taos. It used to be the uh, way you would get into Taos when you were uh, coming from out of town. From that way, huh? From that way. This is great. You get the shot. Look at the beautiful uh, reflection on the water. Mm -hmm. You knew the reflection was going to be here at this time, right? Uh, timed it just for you. Yeah, yeah thank you. Mm -hmm. This we couldn't do in San Francisco. <laughs> Barely had the whole thing, but it's incredible. There you are. What's your tip for getting a great shot of this bridge? Wide, 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 wide. Wide, right? wide, wide. Uh, yeah. This really calls for a wide angle lens. Uh, there's so much you want to get in. 
Um, earlier in the day, you're going to have uh, sunlight bouncing off the cliffs. But other than that, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's a wide angle uh, type of uh, place to be. Okay, well, there's beautiful color on you right now. Okay. So I'm going to get a shot right there with the water. So I have to do this twice. Now it's on to our last stop, the historic Rio Grande Gorge Bridge, the 10th highest bridge in the United States. You have two choices. You can walk the bridge to get a shot at the gorge, and that's a lot of fun, or drive over it and park in the lot, walk a few steps for the best view of the bridge from the side. Well, we're on the outskirts of Taos. Uh, this is uh, the uh, main bridge over the Taos Gorge. Um, this is one of the yeah, one is, of the uh, shots. One of the shots that uh, is probably uh, uh, most popular in Taos is this uh, view of the bridge. You know, it, it's nice because you can shoot uh, with any lens almost and get a good shot. Bridges with big dramatic skies look incredible in black and white. They also look pretty cool as a big master wide shot. Or if you want to go telephoto, we did that too. And then finally. I had my drone there, so I had to pull it out because what's a bridge without a drone shot, right? Kevin, it's 6.30 p.m. It's getting dark. I think it's time to say goodnight. Sounds great. Yeah, I want can't thank you enough for taking me around to some of your favorite hidden Taos spots. Well, thank you for coming and thank you for asking me. It was a pleasure. Instagram Bad Kevin. Instagram at Bad Kevin, uh, or you can get me online and my portfolio is uh, klandersonphotography.com. All right, so thanks again. Let's hit the road and uh, say good night. Good night. But before you go, please check out our Taos, New Mexico magazine on Flipboard. It's got stills from today's episode. And do me a favor, I'd love to see some of your Taos photos in our magazine. For an invite to the magazine, just email photowalkstv at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and hey, I'll see you on the next photo walk, everyone. <laughs>